Hello everyone and welcome to this round of Ed Talks. I have with me today Agnel Ward from Saskatchewan Polytechnic. Hi Agnel. Hi, hi Ganga. Good to be here. I'm so happy. So Agnel, uh, students are very excited. They want to know more about the province actually nowadays as well as what kind of programs you offer which are related to the labour market. So I know you have a lot of things to say about that. So let's start with that. Thank you so much for uh, having me here. And uh, hello everyone, uh, at Saskatchewan Polytechnic, uh, which is in the province of Saskatchewan, we have a lot of opportunities in terms of jobs, in terms of uh, for, for students to graduate and get onto jobs. In fact, uh, the province of Saskatchewan offers opportunities in a wide range and that is why the programs at Saskatchewan are uh, in business, in IT, engineering, human services, construction and so on. And most of our programs are linked to the labor market because two third of our programs come with a work integrated learning where students undergo a co-op. We have a very strong placement team which works with students and employers, make sure whilst they are studying, they get onto the job market, they experience it full time and then they come back to complete their final semester. And that is why we also boast of a 96% graduate employment rate which is very high and uh, hence the province understands this which is why we have these policies which are which is Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program, we have Graduate Retention Program, we have a lot of health benefits for immigrants and students and all these policies are made by the government only to attract students and the other population to take up these jobs. The government had uh, released a report in the uh, Saskatchewan Labour Demand Outlook, 135,800 jobs available in the province from 22 to 26. And surprisingly, 54% of these are in the are replacement jobs. 46% are due to expansion jobs. And I hope you understand what replacement jobs are, which happens either due to retirements or deaths. And that's a whooping 54%, which is about 73,000 odd jobs. Amazing. This is what it is about Saskatchewan. Oh, great. All right, so what about Moose Jaw? I think you have another added advantage there, right? Like the rural... Exactly, we have the Rural and Northern Immigration uh, Project. The, it, it was a pilot project and it is confirmed now. Yes. And a lot of students, that is where also the highest number of uh, Indian students are there. Hmm. And uh, a lot of students are getting on through the RNAP into the immigration system. Yes. And uh, that is something which is very useful for, the, for, for Indian or international students. Yeah, okay. So you've talked about the programs, you've talked about the labour market, how they are aligned. Now tell us something about the student services that uh, at the Saskatchewan Polytechnic you focus on. Okay, to begin with, we are going to have a housing coordinator now. So far, because you've been hearing this about Canada, that there's a lot of housing problem and all of that. We haven't experienced it so far, but before we experience that we are already okay. taking measures and hence we have a housing coordinator okay. who would ensure that students get accommodations and facilities and will liaison and work with them. Likewise, once students come or much before they come, we have a lot of pre-departure orientations explaining to students uh, how it's going to be on campus. Once they come there, we have a fantastic uh, international team and we call them international student advisors. And I generally tell this to students, this is your home away from home. <laughs> it's not only the academic part that you can talk to them, even if you have any personal issues, it could be anything. And our team is ready to help and they always help and students take appointments, come to us. So we make sure that the transition for students from India to Canada is generally very smooth. And we have got a fantastic team working there, providing these services. Okay, so you spoke of uh, home away from home. Do you also have something called fun away from home? Absolutely. <laughs> we have a lot of clubs. We've got a lot of Indian clubs. We've got uh, sports facilities. We've got the gym in the, uh, in the college. And uh, students generally celebrate Holi. In fact, on one of our brochures, we have got a picture of students celebrating Holi, the Pauli. So most of the Canadians as well and from other nationalities now understand that uh, all the festivals that Indians celebrate are celebrated on the campus <laughs> and these clubs take that initiative to make sure everyone has got, got a good time. So it is uh, fun away from home as well. 
Okay, so you spoke about co-op programs, and I think business programs are very, uh, you know, very much in demand. So, what about your business program? You have a lot of co-op in them, you said. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's not only the business programs. In fact, most of our engineering programs, most of our undergraduate IT programs, most two-year diploma programs have got co-ops, and that is two-third of our programs have got co-ops. And co-ops with us is uh, so simple that. Students study the first three semesters with us in in year one that is semester one semester two in year two they do semester three we prepare them with their resumes interview skills preparations and all of that so in the second year for the fourth fifth and sixth semester they go to work and this is full time work almost paid and it is part of the program and this forty member placement team that we have places them. they go to work and a lot of them when they come back for the fourth semester they come back with a full time position offer letter and this is something that i recently experienced when i was in saskatchewan in saskatchewan because i wanted to meet employers and a lot of employers came and met us we went went and met a lot of employers and in one of these companies that we went and uh, in the boardroom uh, all of us were sitting and one of the employees a very young employee handsome chap came forward and he explained about the company that this is you know this many years old 450 employees we've got about four five branches this is a product and all of that and at the end of his presentation of about 15 minutes he looked at us and he told uh, actually i am a student of sas politic and uh, <laughs> these people uh, have already offered me a full time position i'm coming back to the college for my final semester and then i'm coming back to work it was so, so heartening to yeah. see that something that we've been telling students here something that we've been promoting about co-ops and jobs in Saskatchewan this is what our students are undergoing Absolutely. and it was very heartening to see amazing okay all right so thanks so much agnar uh, that was really amazing and i'm sure the students are very attracted towards saskatchewan and more towards saskatchewan polytechnic as well absolutely thank you so much ganga for having uh, me here and i would like to tell uh, everyone who's listening to this that uh, we work with canum and they are uh, one of our authorized agencies they are one of our top agencies <laughs> they've been sending us a lot of students and they take care of the students very well is what i know and for the kind of follow ups that they do in terms of making sure that students have got the right information the the uh, access to uh, the portal and all the guidance and help that is needed so if you are interested to apply to saskatchewan polytechnic come to saskatchewan please uh, coordinate work go to canum and they would help you out till you get your visa and till you travel thank you thank you so much